Hey, what's up guys? In today's video I'm gonna show you how to clean the mass airflow sensor from this Mitsubishi Mirage or Space Star and also more importantly how to do a couple of tests also since this sensor includes as well the intake air temperature sensor we've got five wires here and we're gonna see with the voltmeter what values you need to read at each wires because a lot of people ask me about that first let's see the live data from the scan tool the OBD2 port is right here So you could see the sensor did respond very well. You want to see around 2.5 grams per second on this engine size. Now let's say you don't get any response on your scan tool or you cannot read any voltage on the wires. You want to go inside the fuse box and over here you can inspect this fuse with 20 amps. You've got this little fuse picker. You can just place it like this on the fuse that little filament should not be broken and you can see even the scan tool is connecting to the sensor because it was disconnected now let's say you checked on your scan tool you got power to the sensor the fuse is okay but still you got a trouble code about the mass airflow sensor then now let's remove the connector turn your voltmeter to 20 volts make sure that these terminals are correctly placed to read voltage not amperage okay so i'm holding the connector like that i've got the black terminal first on the red wire and let's see the next one is this green one we've got 4.6 volts let's see the next one 4.6 volts again 0 0.3 volts and the last one 9 volts now let's place the black terminal on the next wire on this green one and let's see zero volts we've got five volts this is going to be the reference wire for one of the sensors and we've got 13 volts now i've got the black terminal in the middle which is the gray wire we've got five volts again this gotta be the reference wire for one of the sensors and again 13.7 volts and let's see this blue wire is like blue with white strips let's see we've got 8.8 .8 volts well now one important thing to mention here when you see for example 8 volts or 9 volts it means that you are connected the terminals between reference wire or some power wire which comes from the computer to power the sensor and signal wire which is connected to the ground and that's why you see this difference because usually the receiver wire has some resistance and in that way the computer can see read the signal from the sensor okay so now we are done with reading the values from the connector now i'm going to turn the ignition off and finally let's remove the sensor and uh, give it a clean you're gonna need a t20 and wiggle the sensor okay and you're gonna need a mass airflow sensor cleaner don't use something else because something else will leave a little layer on the sensor and the sensor will not be accurate you want to spray especially inside there now let it dry for a couple of minutes now on this engine you will not find oil on the mass airflow sensor because it's placed right next to the air filter and there is no oil source to come from this point. However, you might find oil for example on the throttle body because you've got this PCV hose which is connected right to the valve cover while the oil is splashing and some oil will travel. Alright guys, so that was pretty much it about this mass airflow sensor. Thanks for watching. If you need more information about this car, go ahead and check out the playlist. And I actually highly recommend that you buy a scan tool if you want to work on your car. It's going to make your life a lot more easier. At least you can buy something entry level, which doesn't cost more than $100. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. You get a lot of free videos about how to repair and maintain different issues on cars. Hopefully I'm going to make a lot more in the future if I have the possibility. 
So until next time, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.